Hello crafty friends, welcome to this quick and easy, clean and simple card tutorial. Today I thought I'd make a card while also sharing with you some tips on how to do quick and easy cards in particular. So if you've only got a short time in which to craft or you need an emergency card, these tips will hopefully help you achieve that. So tip number one, have some card blanks ready to go. So this is one that I bought in a pack at a charity shop. I think it might be Hobbycraft or The Range and it is just a five and three quarter by five and three quarter square smooth white cardstock card blank. So I've got a stack of these that I can just grab when I need them. The second is keep some sentiments ready cut. So this is my little sentiment folder. It's just a little pocket binder and I've pre-cut some sentiments and put them in here in a sort of alphabetical order. It's not strictly alphabetical, just I've got the B's and then the C's and then etc, etc. And in spare moments, I've cut sentiments from scraps of card, but I've also designed some in the Silhouette Studio software and printed and cut them on my Silhouette Cameo ready to go. So I've got birthday ones here. I've got celebrate ones here. I've got congratulations and cheers and celebrate. Then lots of little happy birthday ones that can just be stuck on any kind of card really. More die cuts, more silhouette ones. Some with shadows behind them, some without. All sorts. So these are here, large and small, roughly alphabetical, ready to go when I need a sentiment and I haven't necessarily got time to cut one. I think this is especially useful if you do any of your own sentiments on something like a digital cutting machine like the Cameo or a Cricut. That can take time to format your files and then print and then cut. So if you can do that in advance and store them somehow, whichever way works for your brain, then you're good to go. You could also stamp and cut. I haven't, don't think I've got any stamped sentiments in here, but yeah, you could stamp and cut your sentiments and keep them stored, ready to go as well. So that's tip number two. So tip number three is to keep a pouch of pretties or whatever receptacle you want to use, something where you store all the leftover bits of background, things left over from die cuts, that you can just grab and pull from when you want something pretty to die cut from. So today for my card, I've pulled out a few bits. A lot of them you've seen me make in previous videos and some were just experiments that I didn't take forward and I think I might just want to cut up and use in a different way. Oh, I've got a fourth tip actually, and that is uh, keep any die cuts that you've made, any embellishments that you've made and haven't used. Uh, you don't want to waste the time and energy and supplies that you put into making them. Uh, but you can just grab from a pile of things that you've got spare. So spare die cuts, spare ready assembled, spare stamped and coloured. And then you can just pop these on the front of a card blank, add a sentiment and you're good to go. So basically the tips today are all about preparation. Preparation, preparation, preparation. Have things ready to go for quick and easy crafting. Oh, and tip number five is if you're stuck for ideas, if you're sitting there thinking, I need to make a card and I don't know what to do, haven't got any ideas at all, nothing's inspiring me, just go onto the web and do a search. You can go to Pinterest. But what I like to do, because I like to keep an eye on current trends, is I go to places like the John Lewis website, Next website, MS website, places where the vibe is something that I like. And I have a flick through and I look to see what the latest or trending uh, cards are. I mean, there's plenty of places like moonpig.com, funkypigeon.com, where you can, you know, create your own card digitally and then get sent out in the post. So that's a place for ideas as well. But this morning for this video, I went on the next website and looked at their cards and saw one that I thought, oh, that would make a really lovely clean and simple card. And I can make that from my pretties 
and a couple of dies and it shouldn't take long at all. So that's what I'm going to do now and I'll let you know exactly how long it took me to make or when I've finished it. I'll put it up on the screen because I'll need to check the time on the video. Right, enough waffling for me, let's get on with it. So we've got our square card blank and my pile of pretties and I'm going to do the word yay and then celebrate underneath. So let's look through these quickly and pick uh, something that is gonna stand out. So this was a background that I haven't used, but I made it using some Catherine Pooler inks. I just stamped the ink pad straight on the paper. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to get everything lined up and cut from that, like that. But obviously I need to run it through my die cut machine twice because I've got to use two Ys, so I can only do one at a time. So I'll get those lined up like that, and I'll get some low-tack tape to get them in place. I think we'll go for the warm end of the spectrum. There we go, I don't want to rip that bit because there might be a bit of the Y there, so I'll just fold that back on itself. Now I want to give my letters some dimension and I could die cut lots of letters and stack them one on top of the other but I'm not going to do that because that's going to take time. So I've got a little bit of double sided adhesive craft foam here and that will give my letters some dimension so I'll run that through my die cut machine so there we have a Y I'm gonna pop that on this bit of release paper here actually I'm gonna leave that A in for now because I want to get my Y lined up And now for the celebrate. Where did that go? So I think I want that centered about about there, but straight. There we go. I think that works. There's that tape again. So now we've got the main part of our card ready to go. I'm just going to mark at the halfway point there so I know where I kind of want the middle of my A to be because that's the middle letter there we go and now we can add a Y either side Hang on, that's the wrong way. <laughs> the y, that Y goes over that side. So I'm just going to get in there and rub that little pencil mark out that I made. <laughs> Make sure everything's pressed down properly and then I've got some of these mini enamel dots add a bit of energy and movement bit of life so we can keep the card clean and simple because we're keeping it around the sentiment and there's all this empty space and I've also got my zig dot markers clear color dot markers 
and I can add some non-dimensional dots around my sentiment for a bit of variation. So there's some flat things and some dimensional things. And the beauty of using enamel dots and these dot markers is that they don't need to dry. I'm not putting Nouveau drops on or glossy accents or anything like that. If you wanted to add some shine to your die cuts, you could cover the paper in clear packing tape before you cut them out. And that way you get a lovely glossy look without any drying time. And you could, if you wanted to finish this off, you could give it a bit of a doodly border. So just a loose border. You don't need a ruler. I mean, you could use a ruler if you want. It just finishes it off nicely. Pick one of the colours or all of the colours. If you do multiple lines, then the wobbliness will look intentional. So when I do things like this, I always do more than one line so that all the wobble looks like it's meant to be there. So we've got two red lines, one yellow and one green. So that's this card done. I hope you like it and I hope you found my tips for quick and easy crafting helpful. And it's given you some ideas of ways you can maximise your crafting time. Right, that'll do from me. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.